Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. NTSB releases preliminary report from P-51 Pecos Bill accident. NASA astronaut Nick Haig set for new space station mission. And SpaceX ISS resupply mission successful, but first stage landing does arrive. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. It's December 10th, and this is Airborne Unlimited. The NTSB has released its preliminary report from the accident involving the P-51D Pecos Bill on November 17th. The accident fatally injured the pilot, 73-year-old Calden Ward Jr., and its passenger, World War II veteran Vincent Losada of San Antonio, Texas, 93. The airplane impacted an apartment parking lot near Fredericksburg, Texas, following maneuvers. The airplane was destroyed during the impact. The airplane was registered to P. Hoxo LLC and operated by the pilot as a Title 14 code of Federal Regulations Part 91 personal flight. Day VFR conditions prevailed in the area about the time of the accident and the flight was not operated on a flight plan. The local flight originated about 1459 from the Gillespie County Airport near Fredericksburg, Texas. A witness in the parking lot stated that the airplane climbed and descended nose down. The airplane impacted terrain and the back of the airplane separated and came to rest on nearby parked vehicles. The witness stated that the airplane impacted so hard it had blown up. However, there were no flames. The 73-year-old pilot held a Federal Aviation Administration commercial pilot certificate with airplane single and multi-engine and instrument ratings. He also held an FAA second-class airman medical certificate, which was issued on December 5, 2017. After the break, Champion Aerospace recalls Magneto's and new service bulletin. Concord's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude and slip with integral backup battery safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airport Unlimited, Aero TV, Airport Unmanned, the AMA Drone Report, our website or podcast, just email to news by at aero-news.net. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call around the patch. On November 12, 2018, Champion Aerospace released a revised version of SLIC Service Bulletin SB-115, recalling all 4300 and 4700 series SLIC Magneto distributor gears and manufactured with copper electrodes over eight years from September 26, 2008 through September 1, 2016. Champion identified a condition in distributor gears, causing loosening of the copper electrode. More than $75,000 is now available to assist current and incoming college students who are seeking a degree in aviation-related fields through post-secondary scholarships administered through EAA. Applications are now open for all of the scholarships at eaa.org slash scholarships. 
The application deadline for the 2019-2020 school year is January 31, 2019. These financial awards are available for studies that include pilot training, aeronautical engineering, aviation management, AMP certification, and more. Ryanair has announced a major new training partnership with ATO sky for u to deliver a Ryanair Airline Pilot Standard Program in Berlin and Vienna. This new EASA-approved Enhanced MCC Program gives trainee pilots a structured path to achieve an exceptional training course and reach a standard where they are ready to join the Ryanair Boeing 737 Type Rating Program. Universal Avionics has received FAA TSO authorization for the company's new touchscreen EFIS control display unit for the inside display system. Designed for efficiency, the Touch ECDU provides fast, easy access of inside user control and input. The STC is expected in quarter 1, 2019. We are excited to announce TSO approval well within the promised schedule said Dan Rita, UA Vice President of Sales, Marketing, and Support. Well, that's it for today's show for On the Patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. NASA astronaut Nick Haig, who was forced to abort his recent mission to the International Space Station, is scheduled to launch again, February 28, 2019, from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Haig will launch with Alexei Ovchinin, of the Russian space agency Roscosmos, who was his commander and crewmate on the aborted mission in October, and NASA astronaut Christina Hammett Cook aboard the Russian Soyuz MS-12 spacecraft. The trio will join the station's Expedition 59 crew and return to Earth on October 29th as members of Expedition 60. Haig and Cook will serve as flight engineers for Expeditions 59 and 60. Ovchinin will serve as a flight engineer on Expedition 59 and the commander of Expedition 60. During their mission, the station crew will take part in about 250 research investigations and technology demonstrations, not possible on Earth, to advance scientific knowledge of Earth, space, physical, and biological sciences. Science conducted on the space station continues to yield benefits for humanity and will enable future long-duration human and robotic exploration on missions to the Moon and Mars. The crew also is scheduled to be on board during the first test flights of NASA's Commercial Crew Program, which will return human spaceflight launches to U.S. soil. After these messages, SpaceX ISS resupply mission successful, but first stage landing goes awry. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at AirplaneFactory.com. Welcome back. It was a near-perfect launch, one of many for the team at SpaceX, with a successful delivery of a payload to the ISS via Dragon Resupply Mission. Liftoff occurred at 1.16 p.m. Eastern Standard Time from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, Florida. The Dragon was filled with more than 5,600 pounds of supplies and payloads, including critical materials to directly support more than 250 science and research investigations that will occur on board the orbiting laboratory. Dragon separated from Falcon 9's second stage about 10 minutes after liftoff and attached to the space station on Saturday, December 8. The Dragon spacecraft for the CRS-16 mission was a used vehicle 
having previously supported the CRS-10 mission in February 2017. After stage separation, Falcon 9's first stage ran into some critical issues and diverted to a soft landing in the ocean. SpaceX boss Elon Musk tweeted that grid fin hydraulic pump stalled, so Falcon landed just out to sea, appears to be undamaged, and is transmitting data. Recovery ship dispatched. SpaceX retrieved the booster with the hopes of flying it again on an internal SpaceX mission. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, alternating with Airborne Unmanned on Tuesday and the AMA Drone Report each Thursday. Additional breaking news bulletins may be posted for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. We'll see you tomorrow.